Good afternoon. Uh, it's kind of late in the day for me to be doing this, but um, I um, uh, we had the I had the stove make this come to um, work on my stove today, and he's got to order some parts, and he won't be back until a couple for a couple of weeks. But anyway, I can still use it just like I've been doing, but um, it's kind of delayed me on getting to do what I wanted to do this afternoon. So I had already baked this coconut cake and I had it wrapped and in the refrigerator. So uh, all I'm gonna do today is put it together. Now, um, I'm not sure. I think it'll probably be in the morning. I will go live and make this make the cake itself and show you how to do the cake and the ingredients but today i'm kind of doing it backwards i'm going to um i'm just going to ice on this cake and i'm not very happy with my egg whites but i'm hoping that it will work but anyway it makes a big this recipe makes two big layers uh, of cake and what I've done is um, I have put I put my cake round down. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's see if you can get this a little closer. I put the cake round down, and then I have put the uh, wax, the um, parchment paper underneath the round. And the reason for that is because. Um, when, I, when I'm icing this cake, the coconut goes all over uh, around the edges. And using this, you can just pull that parchment paper out, and then you're, you have a clean layered cake. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, let me see. I, something I did not, I'm not showing you on camera. Um, I may do it tomorrow, but I'm going to tell you what this is. This is pineapple filling that I made. Um, I made it this morning uh, so it would be cool because it has to be cool to put on here. Now, let me tell you what it is. It's one 20-ounce 20 20 can of crushed pineapple in 100% pineapple juice. It's one can of this. I drain a third a cup of the juice off. I want some juice in it, but I took a third a cup of the juice out and I kept it in case that I needed to add it later that I got it too thick, but it turned out okay. So you put a, a can of pineapple, less a third cup of the juice. You put two tablespoons of cornstarch and a half a cup, yeah, a half a cup of sugar in that you can mix your cornstarch and your sugar together if you want to but if you add your cornstarch and sugar to your cold uh, can of pineapple juice it doesn't clog up you cannot add that cornstarch after the pineapple gets hot so put your sugar half a cup of sugar two tablespoons of cornstarch in the pineapple before you start to to cook it you, you cook it until it starts getting thick, and it w won't take it long. It starts to get thick, cause you, but you have to stay with it and constantly stir it because that pineapple will stick to the bottom of your pan. So just stand there and stir it. doesn't take long. You're just making, making it get thick. Then you move it, remove it from the heat, and you add a tablespoon of butter to it. And that's all it is, and you cool it. And so that's, uh, that's what I'm doing now. I'm fixing to add this pineapple, and I didn't put this in the refrigerator. Normally, I do put it in the refrigerator uh, to get it um, real good and, and cold. It makes it easier, but I, I didn't do this because uh, I, I've been fooling with that man about my stove all evening, and he was a talker. <laughs> I thought I could get something done while he was here, but I really didn't. You don't want to put this all the way to the edge because when you put that other layer on here, it's going to it's kind of squeeze to the, to the edge. So you just want to kind of put it kind of 
around kind of in the middle because it will spread out when you put this other layer on here. And I'll tell you another thing. This is a different recipe of the cake than I, I've, I've never used it before. I use a different recipe for my coconut cake almost every year. Um, and But I think I'm going to like this one. And um, it made such big, big layers. And they, they kind of came up to the top. Normally, I don't. I think the next time I make one of these, I'm going to make it um, in the in the 8-inch pans. These are 9-inch. I think I'm going to make my next one in the 8-inch pans and use three of them. I think I would like it better because this is not going to be that easy. Um, I did try to flatten this layer, and I probably put the wrong layer on there. I kind of flattened what... One of the uh, layers of the cake, you can flatten the top of the cake down when it's hot, and I and I did, and I I actually put the filling on the wrong one, <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and, and put this filling, uh, put this cake on here, and my cake is cold. Now I'm gonna set this aside and show you how I do my frosting, and then I'll come back and put put it on the cake. And for the ones that watched me make the the pie this morning, this is my pie that, that Linda and I made this morning. Came out of the oven. and uh, Now, I've already, let me get this cleaned up. I've already started beating my egg whites. And um, I'm not real happy with them. What it is, I used, I used the egg whites because this cake has five whole eggs in it. So, instead of me breaking five more eggs at, just to get the whites, I bought the uh, egg whites in the carton. I'll show you. Like this. I've never used these wet egg whites like this, but my sister Linda, she said, why don't you just use the egg whites so you don't have to uh, break five eggs. So that's what I've done, but I'm not real happy with them. So, because normally my, my uh, whites fluff up a lot better than this. I don't know if you can see that or not, uh, but they, it doesn't seem like it's, Puffed up enough. I have already beat this egg whites for probably two minutes at least. I'm putting. I'm gonna put two teaspoons of white, but clear clear vanilla in here. Uh, I have a fourth a teaspoon of cream of tartar and I have a half a cup of sugar in five egg whites. But um, it's just not, it's not fluffing up like a like it normally does. Now I'm going to go over here and make the syrup. I make my syrup different than, than any recipe that you will find. I make this different. So what it is, I turn the burner on. I put a third a cup of water. A third a cup of water one cup of sugar and let's see here get that stirred up and I put two tablespoons of Cairo syrup Spatch or get it out. Get another one. And this is what I, uh, sugar syrup. This is what I call sugar syrup. My, my 
uh, Faye does. This is how she makes it. It's how my mother and Aunt Elsie made it, too. Um, most recipes that you... Um, most recipes that you look up, seven-minute icing, it will tell you to put your water and your sugar and your egg whites all in a bowl and put them over uh, in a double boiler. Now, that's how... That's how most recipes tell you. But this is how my Aunt Elsie and Aunt Faye done it. They put the sugar and the water and the k in a in a in a saucepan, and you cook this until it um, becomes like a thread. When you when you do it like this, and it streams like a thread, you know that it's done. I've done it so many times. I kind of know about when that's going to happen. But I'm just telling you, you don't want to cook it too long. It'll turn to candy, and your frosting will be candy. But you don't, um, I, I really never have, um, I have never used a candy thermometer on this. I just always stir it. I let it come to a boil. It has to boil. It'll boil. But it takes a few minutes, and that was one reason that I, and I'm, I can't multitask when I'm doing a video. That's why I went ahead and beat the egg whites two minutes. It takes about seven minutes to, to make this frosting. Um, and I didn't, I didn't want y'all to listen to the, uh, the, the mixer going the whole time. So I beat my egg whites ahead of time. But it's going to, it's probably going to surprise me <laughs> if those egg whites, they just, they just didn't, foam up like they should for five egg whites. Um, uh, so I'm hoping that it'll work. <laughs> uh, I'll turn that down to medium. Uh, and the uh, the stove guy did I put what did I put? I'm trying to think. My, I just had a memory. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, this is, um, I guess I could put the camera over here and show you. It'll, it'll be like syrup, like clear syrup when it's ready. See, when that gets ready, it will just stream like, and it's almost ready. <laughs> if you don't cook this long enough and you pour this in those egg whites, uh, you can beat it and beat it and beat it. But I'm telling you, at the, when you get through, it'll be a, it'll be a, a half a cup or so of, of uh, syrup in the bottom of your whites if you don't get this, if you don't get, beat it long enough. But this is, this is how I do it. It's almost, it's almost a thread. Okay, so I'm going to put this, I'm going to put it back and get over here because I'm going to get ready to put it on my, I'm going to get ready to put it on my, um, in my frosting. I'm always so cautious, <laughs> afraid I'm going to undercook it or overcook it. But I want it, this icing is almost like marshmallow whenever um, you get it uh, all mixed together. And it has to be, it has to be thick enough that it will um, hold together. It's doing a thread, but I'm going to go ahead and take it off. You, um. Now you got to beat this frosting. I'm hoping that I can do this. You have to you have to keep your mixer on.
more slowly. This may not, um, this, uh, I told y'all whenever I, before I ever started, those egg whites that's in that carton, carton, I even let them come to, uh, they were still cold, but they wasn't just right out of the refrigerator. I don't know why. I've never used those box of egg whites before in this particular frosting. So I'm not even sure that they're going to work. I start to go ahead and do it off the camera to make sure that it would. But I thought, well, I'm going to have too much frosting if I don't. But that that mixer bowl should be full of frosting. And it's about half full. So that lets me know that those egg whites did not whip right. So I don't know if it was because it was uh, just the egg whites in the carton. But I can tell you, I will, I will use part of this or use it as far as it goes. It may not even stick to the cake. But I will... Off camera, I will crack me five eggs and start do it the way it is supposed to be done. And I will mix that up if this doesn't ass in my cake because I'm not happy with it at all. It's got the right measurements in it. The procedure is right, but the egg whites was not right. It was, it was just not right. So um, I'm going to beat it a few more minutes. But I, I made some cinnamon rolls the other day, and I knew... I knew before I ever put my sugar and pecans in it. Uh, well, actually, it wasn't cinnamon rolls. It was cinnamon bars. And I knew that it wasn't working right, but I went ahead and done it. I wasted a pound of butter. And um, you just know, you know when there's something doesn't turn out right. And so I'm whipping them. But uh, I don't know. Did I tell you that I put um, some cream of tartar in that? In the... Um, so I'm, I'm going to pick it up and see, but I just, I just know. You see that? You see how it's just a little bit on that? If this was fluffed the way it's supposed to be, this whole beater would be full of frosting. So I know that it's not right. Now I can use it. I can use it. But it's... But when I make my coconut cakes, I put a lot of frosting on it. So, I'm going to take this off. So, I can have <laughs> so I'm down room. <laughs> I'm going to use it as far as it'll go. But it's not enough for frosting to do what I want to do with this cake. But anyway, we're, I'm going to move this out of the way so you can see. I'll show you the frosting. See, it's um. See, it's it might hold and it might not, but I'm gonna use it as far as I can. But it's not gonna be enough. I will add some more. I will add some more frosting to this before I finalize it. But I just. I'm going to use what I got, but I will be cracking me some eggs tonight and putting some more on it. I like a lot of frosting. I frost it. This cake has coconut in it, but I will put coconut all on the sides and the top. Sometimes I put coconut, put this, 
frosting on top of the pineapple. So the next cake I make, I may put the frosting on top of the pineapple. I make them different. I, they're never the same. It's just, just whatever I'm thinking of at the moment. But this is definitely not enough for the way I look, for the way I want it to look. It should be a lot, a lot thicker. And I'll tell you another thing I've done on this cake is uh, when I made the cake, I just uh, floured and greased my pan and I didn't use um, the uh, parchment paper. And I, I'm gonna, and I did it on purpose to show y'all what I'm talking about. You see that right there? That is part of, that's part of the crust. That's part of the crust from this, crumbs from this cake. If you use parchment paper, those crumbs don't come off. That parchment paper, it just don't, it just don't. <laughs> so that's why it's best to use parchment paper when you're, um, when you're making uh, your cakes. Well, I, you know me, I always like to be perfect. Um, I'm not perfect, but I like my cakes to be perfect. And um, this actually turned out better than what I thought it would, but I don't like those egg whites, I will tell you that. And people use them all the time, but I just, I never have. Linda, I think, uses them, but I don't normally. But my, um, I'll tell you what's holding this together is that syrup I put in it. So, but it's a different consistency. See, I went and got a little bit of that cake crumb in there. I don't want that in there. Okay. All right, and I did not put all of it on there, and the reason I didn't is because this is thinner than what I like, and, and the more I put it on there, the heavier it will get, so I'm not putting more on it. Now I'm going to put coconut on it now. Just going to cover coconut all over it. And this is where it gets messy, and... Uh, my granddaughter asked me one time, Memo, how do you get that to stay on there? Let me move this out of the way. Well, you just, uh, you just dab it on there. Just take a little bit and dab it. That's how I do that. And if anybody's got some, got a better way, you can tell me. But this is how I do it. Just take a little bit and put it on there. And see that this paper is keeping that from getting, making such a mess on your counter and everything. Well, I still make a mess. It doesn't matter <laughs> what. Uh, this is a, a package of coconut. It's hard to find. I use, I use the um, Baker's. I use the Baker's coconut. It's it's a lot more moist than the other coconut. I'm hoping this stay on there, but like I said, I I don't. I did not like the way my eggs beat. Okay, now I'm going to wash my hands. Let me get some of this off the counter. On there. I'm just 
I do it now. We have cake plates. We have cake uh, covers that the church uh, provides for us to put our cakes on. And uh, I will put it in that. And I've got to go to the church and get one, matter of fact, because I, uh, I forgot to pick one up. But this is church night, so I'll be going to, to get that. Okay. All right. Now I'm just going to take this. Now, all I do is, uh, I can pick it up. I've got a piece of um, ca um, non-grip cabinet, you know, the little uh, rubber things that you can put in your cabinets. I've got a piece of that on the bottom of this, so I can pull this out to pick up on it, to lift it up, and put it on my cake plate. So, that, um, that's my coconut cake, and I will give y'all the uh, make the cake probably in the morning, but it will be probably by 9 o'clock because I have to leave early. So I'll be making the cake, showing you, mixing up and giving you the ingredients of this cake in the morning. I kind of did it backwards, but that's the way I had to do it because I could, uh, didn't want to be on here and I couldn't start cooking a cake with them fixing my stove this afternoon. And what was wrong with my stove, that whole panel where the, um, bar, where the, the knobs are, this whole panel here is going to have to be replaced, he said. He said all those knobs has got a short or something in it. So when I turned my burners on, you couldn't, it wasn't the correct temperature. So um, they're going to replace that, but it'll be a couple weeks before they get back out here with the parts. I hope that I didn't, wasn't too confusing to y'all. And this is a good cake. Um... So I will be back on in the morning around 9 o'clock and make this cake and show you how to put the cake together. I won't show you the other because I've already showed you, shown you the, uh, how to do the pineapple filling and then the egg whites. But make sure that you use um, your egg whites or room temperature whenever you start to beat them, which though that might have been it. They might have been a little bit too cold, but it was something because it didn't fluff up. And I might make, I may make a batch. Of, well, I will make another batch because I got another cake to dress. But um, anyway, thank y'all so much. I know I've been on here a while and we already, you already watched uh, Linda and I one time this morning. And I think she's been out Christmas shopping this afternoon. And that's something that I am getting so excited about doing. But um, I just haven't had time. You know, it's just, I, I thought to myself, when am I going to have time to go shopping? Because I love to shop. But I'm going to fit it into my schedule as soon as this fall bazaar is over and Thanksgiving's over. I have to get that over. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for joining us, especially joining us twice. I will be back on. Uh, Linda will be on, I think, Mon um, both of us may be on Monday. I, I think we might be. I'm not sure. I'm not looking at my schedule. She and I both have to look at our schedule to almost see. But I know Tuesday, she will be on Tuesday morning. By herself and Tuesday afternoon I'm going to be making a sour cream chicken enchiladas because I have company that day and I've got to cook it anyway so I'll just let y'all watch me how I make it and I'll be making a big a big two big pans of it because I have company so I won't be back on till next week and Linda will and we just got we have a very very busy week next week now Wednesday we're at our family's actually having Thanksgiving early, and L Linda will be here. So next Wednesday we will be together, and we're going to do some filming together on Wednesday. That's the day we're celebrating our Thanksgiving dinner, so my granddaughters can go back home and be with their husband's family for Thanksgiving. So that's we just work together so the family can be together. You know, I think that may be why some families don't get together is because nobody's willing to celebrate a day early or, or make it work. And so 
I've always been make it work. If the family can, can't come on that day, fix it where they can come. That's been my motto because it's important for family to be together. So looking forward to all that. And I will talk with y'all later. If you have any questions, just let me know. I will sit down for a few minutes. Try to answer as many as I can. Love y'all. Bye-bye. Don't forget to count your blessings. Bye-bye.